So I took a bit of time out yesterday. Uh, I did no vlog, daily vlog yesterday, um, just to spend time with the family. And I took my daughter out uh, to a trampoline park, which was fun, for about 15 minutes. <laughs> then we got bored, so um, we sort of left early. So got our Mackey D's, and yeah, just went, spent a bit of money and just chilled really so today's art vlog is sort of like catching up on a few things and trying to finish some artwork uh, not necessarily drawing new stuff today that'll start maybe tomorrow or Monday but we'll see we'll see what's what and just get back into it so yeah every so often I'll be doing you know um, little family time things like that so if you you don't see a vlog um, for one day I'll try and double up the next day do a bit of a longer vlog so yeah just a little heads up right on with some work so I thought I'd tackle the colouring of this for a little bit and we'll see what's what I just want the background to be um, like a lot of grey tone um, so I'm trying to work that out as well and I'll just put there a bit of this base um, this warm grey 7 I think it is yeah so I want a bit of that down and then I can try and uh, hopefully separate that um, you know and grey tone the rest of the zombie obviously I've erased all the pencil lines and everything so I really want to try and um, add a load of copic layers to this one maybe a lot more than um, I've done in, in the past with drawings uh, really you know make this a standout piece of artwork so that's why I want to add lots of layers to this one with copic markers do all the grey tones and things like that I'm not going to do this all in like uh, real time well it is going to be real time but you know, not like continuously, I'll just chop in and just add like little bits here and there and um, as I go along and you know, do stuff off camera and then come back and explain what I've done and things like that. And that's the best way of working really, for these vlogs at least. If it was a continuous like drawing video, which I still want to work on some more, yeah, then I'd do that. But it's not always possible for these vlogs. I need to be making them more snippets and, and like little clips of stuff um, towards the like you know larger progress of work so you know um, that's what I'll be doing so as I said I'm adding lots of layers now of uh, warm greys I've done something different with the teeth because I'm gonna uh, try and do some effects over that I've done them like a, a base coat of this dull ivory colour uh, which is sort of like a bone colour, um, which is good. Uh, well, dull ivory, ivory is it's like a bone, but yeah. So like I'm, I'm gonna be later on. I'm gonna add some like greys and like different bits and pieces just to make them look more like realistic looking teeth or something. But as I said, like I'm gonna add lots of grey tones. I've already added like um, bits of warm grey seven, which is the darkest around the teeth and some darker areas and then warm grey 5 uh, just to help shift the tone up a bit more and warm grey 3 I'll add like a, a warm grey 1 right at the end that's the lightest colour so um, maybe I might just do a warm grey uh, 1 on the all that blood things there just give it a base coat and just see how it goes but I'm trying to add like lots of layers um, to this drawing and just just you know you know add lots of layers really <laughs> I'll just uh, add that warm grey one over the you know, like the blood areas there and some drips just to give it like a, a little base coat of colour because what I found with these Copic markers is if you provide a really good base coat of colour, the, the coloured pencils go over the top real well so 
um, it's just about giving it um, a nice coat of these markers really professional these markers that's why I, I use them quite a lot I'll have to get like more refills for the inks but that's what I'm trying to work on anyway and maybe try just try and um, sort of like get into detail with the markers and you know try and do experiment with them more and do different effects and things like that um, just go back and forth between different greys and you know add detail that's not there perhaps or you know just just try and do different effects so I'm just adding little marks here because it's going to be um, like tears in the flesh and other stuff so I don't know just try and experiment that's the that's the main thing to do uh, with any drawing but I want to do more of that with this one so yeah it's just a process of getting on with like, like all the grey colours the tones and everything and then I'll add more to it as I go along and I'll do that so as you can see I'm slowly adding more layers to this um, it's more like of invo an involved process of uh, working up the layers I'm just working on this ragged like clothing as well um, just going back and forth between the warm greys and stuff uh, warm grey 5 just like shading on the teeth there and I can whiten up some of the edges um, later on uh, I've just started to do the eyes um, sort of like thinking uh, a lot of the the, the pupils and the colouring in the eyes maybe is, is all faded so there'll be just like a, a grey outline of the eyes you know proper like zombie white out probably I don't know and trying to blend in a lot of the background it's going to be like loads of grey tones as well so it's just figuring it all out um, on the page and just seeing how it goes um, but I'm enjoying like the process of uh, you know it's almost like painting with Copic markers really um, that's how I can describe it as you know you're working up the layers and building up like the values and the tones and things and trying to like um, exaggerate the details as well and just try and bring out more out in the face and you know just stuff like that so I'm gonna keep doing this uh, going backwards and forwards with all the grey tone markers and just see what I can do um, I'm just like curious to see what I can do if I spend more time on a piece so that's this little project uh, that I'm gonna you know follow through and just try and uh, see what I can do with it so I just added some skin white uh, which is actually cotton pearl um, according to the refill uh, just along the where the whites of the eyes should be I want them to have like a I think a saw looking look to them now so I'm going to work on that I can just maybe add some more uh, grey tones over the top and maybe thin that out a little bit maybe like here uh, with a lighter colour um, I've got an eggshell colour I might just thin try and thin that out slightly it's a bit, a bit of a lighter colour I don't want it to be too like red I don't know. I was thinking about doing um, like I think I'll keep the grey looking eyes and um, like they're faded but I want there to be like an infected like look about the eyes obviously uh, with it being like a zombie um, and I can let that spill over into under the eyes and that maybe blend some of these greys together and things like that It's just about going back and forth, back and forth with different Copic markers and trying to balance the, the colours. I don't really want to add like um, normal skin colours to this. Uh, I want to use a lot of the greys and try and um, yeah, just come up with something that looks like zombified. I'm using pale grape as well um, to try and uh, create a base colour for a lot of these bloody looking 
uh, areas to start like um, faint traces of this it's like a light pink uh, color and I can use that on the top of the gums as well um, try and blend the colors together as well yeah and there we go over the like the blood parts there that's dripping down it just marks in like uh, certain areas where you want to add like you know different colors and stuff like that and it, it builds it up gradually so I can um, if there's a color I don't like I can pull it back a bit or just go back over it with some greys and um, sort of start again really but for now it's 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 going how I want it so just doing like little snippets of uh, colour and then you know just just experimenting with it so as well as doing that drawing I've uh, sort of set myself a deadline of uh, finishing this um, tomorrow so that's my deadline to absolutely finish this and I'm just going over the uh, flame bits with this aqua um, it's like a bluey green colour um, I just want to have like lots of different um, blue flame type uh, colours and then I want to darken a lot of it and then add some like white into it and you know just do bits of that so I'm just having a break from that one for a little bit and just trying to do bits of this um, so I've just been going over as I said with a little bit of flame edges and stuff and trying to uh, yeah just do bits of that really and um, sort of uh, not really give these uh, demon skull things flaming skulls any teeth really I don't know um, I don't know whether I can add like if I make the mouth stack or I can maybe add like white lines or something I don't know that was the idea anyway but <laughs> just got to work on it but I, I want this finished because I've got to get it done by the 1st of March so that's it's nearly it's nearly uh, well it's next week so yeah so my little deadline is trying to finish this uh, for tomorrow at the least so yeah and maybe if I do that with all my drawings who knows I, I may actually finish stuff which will uh, be good <laughs> you never know set a, a strict deadline for stuff I might actually finish uh, some artwork yeah around about here I had um, this new marker but I, I just forgot um, that when you first get these new markers the, the tips white and you have to like press down uh, so the paint will flow and you can't see it now but there was like a blue splodge just appeared there and I I had to wipe it off and that thing but it, you can hardly see it there anyway um, so it'll be like all coloured over anyway so trying to work on adding other colours like I said to that um, dark in these areas the thing about Copic markers is you can go over certain areas and make them more darker and that's what I want to do really And the eyes I started to wink them eyes but I didn't really want that so I can wipe them out later on this one anyway it's just that the eyes I want to be real dark looking and the mouths because they're like different to the rest of the like colours um, don't know why just they are so yeah everyone's nearly um, well I'd say nearly finished their contribution to the um, 52 uh, card deck for this art uh, collaboration 
I don't think I actually linked to the the Facebook page. I'll have to do that in the other video that I did where I sort of like started this drawing. I'll have to do that because there's some really good entries at the moment. Uh, of course, you don't see the full entry. There's only like uh, like video snippets on the Instagram page and. Um, Maybe some little hints of what people have done, but from what I've seen so far, that it looks to be a to be like a diverse mix of real cool stuff. So can't wait to see all that. I've still got a draw in the nine of hearts in the corner and that corner as well, uh, but some of that will be obscured by the hand which is what I wanted anyway, so yeah, I get that darker blue and maybe darken up the eyes even, even further. It's interesting if I'd actually did more work like this where I actually finished stuff um, I'd have some real good pieces of artwork to show so um, you know I'm sort of like thinking what I can do with the daily art vlog um, because I want to do like videos every day but I don't want them to be sort of like the same sort of thing which it has been I want maybe to have a, have a finish a drawing or I don't know. I don't know whether to do that every time or just change it up every now and again. It's always like uh, I'm always like wrestling with what what to do for these daily art vlogs, and I want to do them quicker in the day so I can upload them not late on the night where it goes into the next day. I want to definitely work on a a schedule which uh, is easy to do and keep up with. So I've got that to think about as well. But yeah. I like these drawings and that zombie <laughs> walking dead. Yeah, good stuff. On this one, I've got to try and do like a, um, like a red demon um, skin tone. I'm thinking of, but I need to darken up a lot of areas with the um, grey tones again. So I need to go back over certain areas. Just keep working on some good, uh, some like base colours to go over. Yeah, so a lot of experimenting. I think that's why I don't get much finished at the moment because I'm still learning about Copic markers, especially, and trying to experiment as I go, really. And then I've got to think about things a lot more. But I think that'll come with time. Experience of using these. And just see what I can do with them. Try and darken some areas on there. I'm sort of like working quite uh, lightly, um, just working up stuff slowly because you can ruin stuff, you know, if you're just going a bit heavy handed. And you can see closer what I'm doing there. Um, add some darkness at the center of the eye. Still like the the eyes to be like um, like a yellow color. want it to be like a dark colour in the eye there. I can try and blend a bit of that out but, but not too much. It's um, quite subtle bits and pieces but definitely want a white 
sort of gap around the eye. Just important to keep that. It's about doing things in many layers and just seeing how you can how we can add to it. I just keep on going on and on and on. Um, you know, with the Copic markers, and then last of all will be the um, coloured pencils. You know, coloured pencils here. Oh, just, just some rollers in there <laughs> randomly. But yeah, I've got all my uh, polychroma pencils, which I've been using quite a lot lately. Uh, random paintbrush for some reason. Uh, pencil sharpener. So yeah, um, I need to add in like a load of pinks and more reds, uh, different colour reds as well along here, just and then like pink highlights um, on the gums and the inner mouth and the tongue. The tongue needs sorting out a bit. I don't want it to be like that orange colour. Um, but yeah, so I was yeah thinking about the skin tones to be like proper demon, uh, devil. Uh, red type colours um, but even then I'm not too sure <laughs> it's, things are changeable all the time I can just maybe leave like the grey tones and just leave them as that I don't know just undecided about colouring and stuff like that but I don't know just thinking about things so I think that's it for today's vlog. Um, there's only so much I can like talk about really uh, about these these two pieces in particular, and I, I feel like I repeat myself all the time. So I'm just going to end that there. I think yeah, these daily art vlogs I'm going to try and keep them at a certain time limit, maybe like 20 minutes, and maybe try and uh, show you some. Uh, like processes and things like that and different stuff because I, I feel like I'm just talking about the same things all the time in these daily art vlogs um, you know I might try and mix different clips in uh, pretty much like I did at the start of the vlogs uh, different stuff me talking um, showing other stuff and pens and different things and techniques and stuff that I've learned or picked up and things like that because um, I think that's the daily art vlogs have to be uh, just snippets and little clips all put together I think um, I've been trying to make them sort of like drawing videos as well but I don't know I'll just I'll just work it out you know how I want it to be because um, I, I do want like different videos so anyway I've, I've already talked about that before so I'm going to leave that there, um, I'm going to try and work on these a bit more, although it is a Saturday night, so um, take away time, <laughs> it'll be soon, um, keep looking at my clock, my watch I mean, um, yeah, a few hours away, lots of pizza, jolly good, so I'll leave that there, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video, cheers now! <laughs>